Remember the reports of a cargo door blowout delaying the 777X program? Well, news has emerged recently that recent photos obtained by the Seattle Times show that rather than the door blowing off, the whole fuselage was ripped right off the aircraft. Before we dive deeper, just a quick word if you have not already done so, to check out the Airplane Productions TV Instagram page. The Instagram page will be the new home for all future aviation news updates, so definitely check it out. Do also stay tuned for more detailed aviation analysis and epic airplane comparisons on the way. So when did this happen? Well, this occurred when the airplane's fuselage was in static stress testing. The ground test airplane, which had only the fuselage and wings assembled for stress testing, was approaching 1.5 times its limit load the minimum required for certification. When the airplane's aluminum skin started to buckle and eventually rupture before tearing apart. This was also one of the last tests being conducted during that day, though the airplane has only reached 1.48 times its limit load. So what is stress testing? Well, the FAA requires engineers to test airplanes with forces at ultimate loads, a minimum of 1.5 times the limit loads the airplane would experience in normal flights. In the case of the 777X stress test, the fuselage of the airplane was compressed to 10 pounds per square inch, while the composite wings were bent 28 feet upward. The loads replicated in flight would have exerted g-forces of 3.75 g, nearly three times that of normal flight. At the same time, the fuselage was bent, pulled, and pushed literally. That was when the fuselage ruptured and the resulting depressurization was explosive. Even workers in the next bay heard, quote, a loud boom and the ground shook. This is certainly not good news for Boeing, which has been plagued by troubles with its two newest airplane programs, the 777X and 737 MAX. Nevertheless, Boeing claims that the airplane will not have to do a retest, with a safety engineer at the FAA saying that since the blowout occurred close to the target load, it barely counts as a failure. Boeing would have gathered enough data from the 99% and will use analysis to patch up the 1% with reinforcements to the weak area. The FAA engineer also said, quote, The good news is that they have found it and can address it. Hence, Boeing isn't planning changes to the first flight schedule for now. What do you think of this news? It certainly came as a shock to me. Is Boeing also now rushing the 777X development? And will you still look forward to flying the 777X? Comment below.